So this is what you do. <clears throat> I've got the SGLX lift file, just a little test file, and you can see this represents the problem that you had. So the numbers are not being recognized as being one complete number. So all you need to do is make sure you've got the toolkit installed. So I've just dropped it over here. If you don't see it there when you've installed it, it should be in your add-ins up here. And when you click on it, you can drag and drop it down here where it's just convenient to get at. And all I'm going to do is first of all, navigate to where this file is. So I can do that by clicking on explore containing folder. So there's the file. And I just pick it up and drop it into there like that. Then make sure I'm in the replace tab here. Check the re check the use regular expressions. Now for this particular example, I just want a number followed by a dot. So you need to escape the dot with a backslash followed by a number like that. And because I want to replace the dot with a comma, I'm just going to remember what the number is by creating a back reference out of it. So I've put round brackets around just the number parts, two of them. So the first one will be dollar one. Then I'm going to replace it with a comma. So I type a comma in and then call the second number back, which is dollar two in dollar two. So that's my back reference setup. Now what the toolkit allows you to do is I can find them and you can see it finds the segments straight away. You can see they've got the dot in it. The preview shows me what happens if I was to run the replace, but doesn't actually run the replace yet, which is a good idea because it gives you a chance to check it before you make a mess of your file. Oh, I'm in source, by the way, source search rather than target search. So I can preview it and you can see when I do that, the dot changes to a comma. So that's exactly what I want. So then I can just click replace all and that's it. I think that was it. Yep. So if I do a find all again, yep, I can't find them now because they're now comma so if I put a comma in there instead and say find all you can find it so you can see that they've already changed and I can go back in here and I can check this by opening the file and now you can see the numbers being recognized completely with a little blue line underneath it so pretty straightforward simple easy thing to do